What up, fellas? So, what's the black pill? The black pill is the extreme red pill, right? You know, after you learn how the world around you really works, how people really view you, how women really view you, and what women really want, and what they are, and who they are, and we finally, when we finally start realizing who women are, and we finally, finally start seeing them for what and who they really are, we often start to get into this depressed stage of where we say that, man, what's the point? What's the even, what, what even is the point of living life and wanting to improve yourself for the better? If people really are not gonna accept me for who I am and they're only going to accept me for what I can do for them instead, so then what's the point? That's really what the black pill is. It's kind of just giving up from my opinion, right? Kind of just giving up in, in your life. Now, some people take themselves out, commit suicide. Other people just kind of live a, kind of, kind of live a life, kind of live a life where they're dead, but their heart's still beating and, and they're functioning. They're kind of, like they just go with the flow is what I'm trying to say. Going with the flow when you're in a beta male, when you're, when you're in a blue pill world is different than going with the flow when you're in a black pill world. Because when you're in a black pill world and you're going with the flow, you're kind of just doing it because you don't want to improve and because you just don't see the point of it. Going with the flow when you're in a blue pill world is because you don't know any better. When you're a black pill, see this is how I look at the red pill. And this is why I love the red pill so much and it's so important for our self-improvement is because when you become red pilled, it's almost impossible to stay in the blue pill world. It's almost impossible. Like you have to, like inevitably you get out of the blue pill world. Either go into a purple pill state, red pill state, black pill state, whatever. But it's almost impossible completely to live in the blue pill world once you become red pilled and once you quote unquote get woke, right? Now, should you go black pill is the question, right? Fellas, this is how I look at it, okay? At, at the end of the day, it's still your life and only you should judge how you, how you should live your life, right? Nobody should tell you how, you how to live your life. Nobody should tell you you should be married or you shouldn't. Nobody should tell you you should bang 50 girls in your lifetime or 150. Nobody should tell you you should make $150,000 a year or $150 million a year. Nobody should tell you to do anything in your life. Even if you're working for for someone, like if you're, you're not your own boss, you're working for some other guy, you need to get out of it and start, become, start coming into a um, entrepreneurial mindset and building something on your own on the side. Why? So that your boss cannot tell you what to do. That's just how I view it, is that your life, you want to live it how you want to live it. But just know that each single path that you choose in your life <clears throat> has its own opportunity cost, has its own pros, has its own cost, cons. So you have to sit there, sit there and decide and weigh out your options and see which route is the best for you and which one isn't. So, with that being said, if you are going into a black pill state because you just want to give up at life because you don't see a point of life anymore, that's the wrong mindset to go into this with. But if you go into a black pill world thinking and knowing that you want to live your life, you just want to stack your money up, improve yourself and leave all these hoes alone. You don't want to mess with any single girl at all. Why? Because there's no point. Why? Because girls don't want you for who you are. They want you for, for what you can do, with, do for them. If you don't want to have any friends in your life, why? Because you believe that friends don't like you for who you are. It's what you can do for them. You can still live that way, completely isolating yourself from the rest of the world completely living a lone wolf type of lifestyle 
and still make good money and still live your life. That's possible. There's options out there for you. But in that, so, so what I'm trying to say is that if you use the black pill in every single aspect of your life, that's going to become detrimental to you. But if you take the black pill and use a certain aspect of your life, even though it's kind of redundant to do so because you don't need the black pill at all. Red pill is plenty and it's enough. But if you still must take the black pill and use it in some aspects of your life when it comes to relationships, friendships, etc., dealing with people, then you can still manage to have a decent life. But as but if your if your mindset is to the point of where you just don't see the point of life anymore, now we have a problem. It's one thing, hear me out, it's one thing to think that there's no point at all in life, there's no point of living and just going with the flow, that's one thing. And it's another thing of, you know what? This is my life. I only have one chance at life. I'll never be born again after I die. This is another Call of Duty games where you can revive in another location. And I want to live this life doing the activities and doing the things that don't involve other people. Why? Because that makes me happy. And I want to completely isolate myself away from everybody. Why? Because people piss me off. They're annoying. They're assholes. Whatever your reason is. That's another thing. Don't get those two mixed up. Just because you don't want to date. You don't want to check yourself out of the dating market. Because you keep telling yourself there's no point of dating. There's no point of hooking up with girls. Even having fun. Because it's just going to... like. My palm, my hip, my palm, and my hand by by itself can do me the exact same thing another girl could. It's just a quick bust, especially if I'm not building any kind of att attachments with this girl. So there's no point of hooking up, dating, none of that. If you think that way, I understand where you're coming from. I understand the game is frustrating. I understand where, go, why you might want to go monk mode like that, right? Here's a question, though, fellas. I wanted to make a video completely on by itself a long time ago like two months ago talking about this because I think this is a very important question and I think you guys should think about this but instead of making that video I started making other videos and then one of my viewers recently um, requested to make a black pill video so that's why I'm including this topic that I have been thinking about for a while in this video because they're kind of related and the question is, do you think monks are black-pilled? Pause the video. Let me know in the comment section below. Or DM me on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram, fellas, at Zeke Peak. But let me know on there. Do you think monks are black-pilled? Why or why not? I really want to know that. Now, fellas... Going monk mode because you don't want to deal with women or people in general can save you a lot of stress, a lot of headache. But you're also missing out a physical interaction part out of your life. You see, I don't like gaming women and going through the exact same bullshit with women, you know, getting her number, taking her on a date, conversating. Like, I actually got to talk to you, girl. Like, God damn it. For what? It's the same exact basic story you're going to tell me that the last girl did. You don't have anything special. You have the same exact vagina that the last girl did. Like, you guys have the same exact hole. It's a vagina. All vaginas feel the exact same once you stick it in. But why do I keep doing it? Because it's a, I have physical needs. Every single one of us have physical needs. But if you can't control that aspect of it, hey, props to you, man. I'm 22 year old. Testosterone is running wild in my in my blood right now. Especially, I work out all the time, so it's a little bit hard for me, right? So that's the that's the path I chose. Is 
just casual flings every here and there. I'll, I'll get on the market, I'll get on the dating scene for like a couple months, every six to eight months. And after that, I'll come off, focus on myself, do what I need to do. And even when I'm in the dating phase, fellas, I still don't get distracted and sidetracked because I have mastered the game for so long, it's not hard for me to stay on track, to, to stay on my purpose. I, it's not hard for me to not let other hoes, random hoes, distract me from my purpose. Oh, you should spend the night tonight. And I got work in the morning. No, I'm not still spending the night, girl. I got to wake up early. We'll do it some other time. The blue pill me would probably say, you know what? Man, that ass was good. I want to sleep with her. I want to uh, spend the night with her. So that in the morning when I wake up, I probably hit it again before I leave. And then what happens? I end up being late to work. So that's why I have conditioned my mind to the point of I don't need women. I want them every now and then for my physical needs, but I don't need them. And that's the mindset I'm trying to preach to you guys. So before you consider taking the black pill, consider these options. Consider these things. But the black, the, fellas, the, back, the black pill is extreme, right? And, and we all know nothing extreme is, too, is, is good. You should never take and be and focus on anything too extreme. You should always find some sort of balance in your life for, on, for, for everything, right? Your hobbies, your job, making money, heading to the gym, everything should have a balance. Banging chicks, everything should have a balance. So that's where I kind of want to leave this video off because I am i don't trash talk to black pillars because I completely understand their frustration and where they're coming from. It's understandable. But at the same time, just know that there's so much more to life. The li life is so beautiful if you can make it happen. If you're in your 20s and you grind and you stay on your grind and you make the money that you need, you become financially free by the time you're in your 30s, 35, even late 30s, even early 40s, you got the next 30 years at least easy to travel the world, do all the things you want. Fellas, do you have any idea how beautiful this world, this, this earth is? Maybe you're living in a small town right now in your small city, in your small state. And maybe you don't know how beautiful this world really is. Maybe you need to go out to Finland, to Switzerland, to the Caribbeans, 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 how do you speak, I don't know, you know what I'm talking about, Costa Rica. Maybe you need to go out to Dominican Republic. Maybe you need to go out to Southeast Asia. Maybe you need to go out to Egypt and see the pyramid. There's so many things, so many different type of people, so many different type of cultures, food, music, festivals, hot women. So many different things you can experience out of this life. Why? Because you only have one life. You only have one life. I want to leave a legacy behind to 50 years to to the point where 50 years later somebody can look back and say that man, this guy had it had it shit figured out. He knew how to live the, this life. You know how always people struggle with this thing that people don't know what the meaning of their life is. If you haven't noticed, most people who are just going to their nine to five nine to fivers and those are the majority majority of people they haven't found their meaning of life if you really dive deep into their life and you get really engaged in the conversations with them i promise you there will be a point in the conversation where they'll, they'll say that you know what man i don't know i think raising my kids is a good good passion for me i think that's what i'm here for no it's not no it's not you haven't even tried to figure out your purpose. So how do you know that's your purpose? Oh, because your parents told you so. Because society's told you so, right? You wanna, you just want to take the easy, comfortable route out, right? I, I'm telling you, the red pill is not an easy lifestyle to live. No, it's not. You're going to be isolated. But you need to find balance. You need to find those social skills to get along with people, even though you know they live in a blue pill world, and you don't. And the red pill lets you know how to do that. The let, red pill gives you the information to live a complete, content, happy life. This is why I'm, the, I'm so advocate of the red pill and no other pills. Black pill, blue pill, purple pill, no other but the red pill. But hey, if you must, if out of these four pills, the only thing, the only pill that I don't agree with at all is the blue pill. The other ones, 
I agree to some content to some extent, right? The red pill, I agree with it 100%, but even purple pill and black pill, I agree with it. When I say I agree to it, I mean I understand where you guys are coming from. And yes, I, I it's acceptable to me. You still have my respect. I still sympathize with you because I see how shitty this time period is that we are living in for us men. But... It's one thing to sit there and feel sorry for yourself and cry and bitch and moan. And it's another thing to grab life by its horns and steer it the way, the direction you want it to go. Again, it's all what you want out of life. But I'm just here to tell you that there's so much more to enjoy out of this world. Not necessarily out of your life, but out of this world. And maybe you're... Maybe it might take you your whole life to enjoy the world. What you want out of your life might not be the same as what you want out of the world. But it might just take you your whole lifetime to enjoy every single thing out of, your, out of this world. By the time you're getting close to your deathbed, you can look back and say that, you know what? I have not found my true purpose and true meaning and what I really wanted out of life, but at least I enjoyed it. At least I enjoyed my time in this earth. At least it wasn't a boring nine to five, just everyday basic average Joe type of lifestyle. At least you can tell yourself that. Nothing hurts more than laying on your deathbed and regretting on some of the decisions that you made on regretting and telling yourself man I wish I did that man I wish I experienced that nothing hurts more than that I have seen it firsthand from older men I lost some friends and on their deathbed every single one of them said that or at least they were thinking it Hope this video made sense, fellas. Like, comment, subscribe. Share this video to your friends. Until next time, stay blessed. Stay beautiful. You know what? I want to bring up another point. It just clicked me. Does being black pill make you less of a man? I feel like that's a, that's a question a lot of guys wonder with. Does it make you a beta male and not an alpha male? Again, I'm just going to make it very simple for you guys. If you know what you want out of life and you don't let anybody else make that decision, if you make a decision that this is what I want out of life and you truly mean it and this truly came from within yourself and you stick to your guts and you make it happen and you live a successful now whatever success is to you successful life and you stay happy in your life you're really content and really happy if you can find those elements if you can if your life is if your life is going in that direction that you really want it to go. You're not less of a man at all. You are most manly than any man I've ever known. Because most men, most men don't even know what they want out of life. I'm not saying touring the world should be a standard for everyone to live their life. All I'm saying this is an option. Just like there's millions of other options to live your life. To, there's million other million other options to do million other things to do in this lifetime all you have to do is expand your mind have an open mind about life and every single time you come across something new accept it with open arms decide if this is for you judge it know it learn it expand your knowledge that's all I'm saying until next time, stay blessed, stay beautiful, and above all, stay classic.